Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the beautiful Scorpio Collectives. I want to see what's coming in, going out, and going on with you beautiful souls. It's been about a week since I have uploaded, or it's approaching a week. Um, as you all know, I was celebrating my daughter Waters' 25th solar return. It was a very beautiful celebratory time. It was just very beautiful. Uh, family came in, um, and we just created memories, man. Uh, so I said, you know what? I feel very refreshed, rejuvenated, and very inspired to do a reading for my beautiful Scorpios. I will. Everyone has been enjoying their strong end. Uh, I definitely enjoyed myself, enjoyed my time away. So let's go ahead and delve into a reading, shall we? So I welcome anyone that may be new. Uh, my name is Q, as I said. Uh, I am an intuitive uh, reader. I channel messages intuitively. I am also an empath, uh, and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background, and I do incorporate those messages uh, to what's coming out with the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. And it all just tends to blend very beautifully. Um, right now we have Maxwell, uh, and the name of the song is called Luxury Coco Cure. Okay. And the name of the album is Embrya. Um, so I'm absolutely feeling that you are on the precipice of some sort of, uh, very, abundant time. I feel like there's wishes being fulfilled, answers uh, to your prayers, your petitions. Um, you're manifesting uh, a lot of your wishes, your dreams. Um, you are truly uh, seeing some of your own divine workings uh, come into fruition. They're manifesting in this physical reality. So whatever you've been setting intention on, uh, whatever energy you have been um, really manifesting and honing in on is coming into this physical reality. So with luxury, I feel like a lot of you all um, are going to be really enjoying, as I said, a very abundant time. You're going to be living in the lap of luxury. Maybe a lot of you, uh, your finances are going to be in order. I'm hearing financial freedom. Um, I'm hearing that a lot of you all may be getting promoted. Uh, you're going to start seeing some sort of momentum movement um, expansion in your financial arena. I feel a lot of it has to do with your hard work. Something you've done in the past, seeds you've planted are now sowing, harvesting, uh, and it's produce, it's producing, um, you know, um, it's, a, it's producing fruit that you'll be able to eat off of for a while. So it's not just a temporary fix. It's not just enough to get by now. I feel like it's something you're going to be eating from consistently for the rest of your life because I heard financial freedom. So there's no more concern, worry, uh, impertinence to your your uh, monetary um responsibilities or your monetary gain, I should say, uh, because I feel like things are, are really transforming. It's like new energy, uh, very futile energy, um, fertile, not futile. I feel like it was futile in the past, but I feel like it's a very fertile time. Okay. So with that embryo, it's like you're birthing something new. It's like, um, the big, the dawning of something new, as I said, the precipice of something new. Okay. So, um, that's also so um, that's also, I feel like some sort of reimbursement. It's like you're being you're being rewarded from spirit for something you have uh, endured in your past, for an experience you had to um, go through, for lessons you've had to learn, for you know karmic cycles you've had to complete. This is not for nothing. I feel like there's been you know, like I said, seeds that you've planted in the past. So that's the hard work, the effort, the intention, the focus, um, the drive, the ambition, the will, um, the strength, the power, you know, the determination to manifest or produce some sort of result, you know, res produce some sort of outcome. And now it's here. It's has, it has arrived. Ashe. Um, some of you could be dealing with someone named Maxwell, first, middle or last name. 
Um, so let's go ahead, delve a little deeper. We're going to do some house cleaning. Um, before we do that, I do want to let you all know that I am, as I said, uh, an intuitive reader. This, e These are general readings. Um, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Um, you are more than just your sun sign. So, you know, pull up your natal chart. See what's in your, your moon chart. Um, See what's in your moon sign. See what's in your ascended sign, you know, your rising sign. Um, see what's even in your your Venus. See what's even in your Mercury, you know. Uh, but do your due diligence to know what your natal chart consists of so that you could find, um, you know, other reads that may resonate with you because maybe you're not picking up on your sun energy. Maybe you're more in that moon energy, that shadow energy, or maybe you're more in the, you know, that um, very cerebral space, that ascended space. So you should check that. Uh, we have Erica Badu now singing Get Money. So it's very interesting that I said you're in a very fertile time. I heard financial freedom. And so we have Erica Badu singing Get Money. So a lot of you all are all about your money, your money management. Um, money is motivating you right now. Maybe some of you all have some sort of goal, uh, some sort of end goal. I hear that there's a goal. It's not like you're just working like this for no reason. I feel like there's, um, you know, some sort of goal some sort of um, outcome, you know, something you're looking to, to, um, you're looking for some sort of means to achieving some sort of goal. So you may need a certain amount of money. I heard 25 grand. Some of you all need 2,500, maybe 7,000, maybe something is costing you about $700. So some of you all could be working overtime, um, getting a little extra cash to work towards, maybe knocking out a couple of bills, maybe purchasing a new um, vehicle, a reliable vehicle. Uh, maybe some of you all are planning a trip. Your solar returns are coming up. So you could be planning for your solar return to take a cruise to go to uh you know a warmer climate you know it's just like you're, you're getting money now so maybe even you're working hard if you have businesses you could be working around the clock you know kind of sharpening your sword or um creating just creating tapping in tuning in and you're starting to see a return on those investments um i also feel like a lot of you have some unexpected money coming in so there we have it. So yes, as I said, do your due diligence, check your other placements in the chart so you could see what else could be coming in, going out, going on for you. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Okay. Whew, let me take a breath. I feel like I've been speaking a hundred miles an hour. All right. Get my throat chakra back on tack. So I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let me get a sippy sip of my water. Some of you all, like I said, could be traveling. The train is going by. So there could be some sort of uh, plans for a trip going on holiday as they say in the UK or in Europe or going on a vacation so some of you all are planning something that could be why you're getting money right now planning uh working overtime maybe you're you know just really uh in a very uh focused state when it comes to getting your your finances pardon me all right so we're going to start off with the numerology deck as always Give the cards a bang, bang, boogie. See what we got on the bottom of the deck. I see a happy ending. So that's always beautiful. Money always makes you happy, you know, because your money makes the world go round, you know. Um, so I feel like a lot of you, I'm hearing a lot of you all are circulating your money. You're not spending. So you're, you're circulating. When you circulate your money, it rotates on back to you. It's like a flow. It comes right on back. Boomerang effect. effect. You're arigatoing your money, you know, arigato. 
um, you know, so that's also a way to, you know, uh, tell the universe to return whatever it is you're utilizing, return it back. So even if you're utilizing your funds for money, uh, for the bills, for your mortgage, for your rent, for your car note, it's like you're still seeing a return on that investment. You're still getting, you know, that flow is still coming to you. So there's no, there's no uh, struggle. I feel like things are very balanced um, financially for you. Uh, with Erica Badu still saying, and get money a lot of you all are getting money um i feel there's something happy um you're coming into as i said earlier the precipice of some new beginning so this is like the happy ending so you went through some sort of uh really toss toxic cycle karmic cycle where you had to learn a lot of karmic lessons and those are not the easiest lessons to learn because a lot of times there's attachments um, a lot of times there's some sort of curses yokes spells generational curses things that could affect you that could have you trapped in some sort of um cycle or in uh what may feel like an illusion uh so there was there was a lot of hard work a lot of of effort put towards healing thyself um and in healing yourselves you're now in the space where you love yourself you know yourself you know your work so that's a very powerful space that's a space of operating and functioning from uh self-discipline uh because you've learned to love you You've learned how to prioritize you, how to put you first. Um, and for you doing that, I feel many of you are getting money. You're getting rewarded. You're getting bliss. Um, the divine is is opening up opportunities. Um, there's a lot of, of uh, wish fulfillment, even um, lucky times. Some of you could be going to like uh, casinos and, and you're like, you're hitting it. You're hitting those numbers. Um, you know, maybe you're going to be lucky in love, uh, but I definitely feel feel like there's, you know, I saw 1111 when I said lucky in love just now on the clock. Um, so there's definitely like what I feel is a twin flame because 1111 is a vibration of a cosmic companion, a kindred spirit, um, you know, someone that you have a very sacred connection with, synergy, chemistry. Um, there's a feeling, a knowingness, an energy of, you know, perhaps, um, you know, uh, familiarity, uh, similarity, commonality. Uh, so you could be coming into those type of uh, relationships, bonds. That could even be you meeting soul tribe, soul family. Um, those are people that you have so many things in common, like like-minded individuals, people on your wavelength, uh, people that vibrate on the same frequency. Um, it's just a beautiful flow of energy coming in. On the split, we have perseverance. So it's absolutely because you've had to persevere through some sort of heartache loss, uh, but you didn't lose yourself. What you did was you found yourself because remember what I said, you healed thyself in order to love thyself, in order to better know thyself. So four is a number of the heart chakra. Uh, this green represents not only the heart chakra, but the growth, the evolution of you, the healing. 1313 13 shows that there was pain. There was tremendous pain. Um, you know, it was like you suffered many losses uh and they broke your heart but you recovered you healed this is all a solid green so that shows the growth that shows the elevation that shows you rebuilding on a more solid uh foundation um that shows you also having to take onus accountability responsibility for some of the things that may have caused this pain this hurt um being able to look at yourself uh and do some introspective work uh being able to be honest being able to um also uh, look forward, you know, um, also rebuild, you know, to, to be solid within yourself, to rebuild. That's why there's a happy ending because I felt like you absolutely did the work. Uh, you cannot be in a solid green color, uh, which represents, as I said, the, um, um, the heart chakra. So that shows your emotional intelligence as well, how stable, how solid you are emotionally. Um, and in this energy, it really, um, has brought you even closer to some sort of happy ending. Uh, it brought you closer to the truth. You know, uh, the truth always sets you free. So this is like freedom. This is strength. This is happiness and joy. Um, you know, this three also represents the divine feminine, the empress. So you could be really, you know, in a space where you have elevated, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually ascended. Um, this is a card of the empress. Uh, you know, if you're masculine, the 
emperor. Uh, so you've discovered your your uh, divinity, you know, to create, to to mastermind, uh, whatever it is you want. Four and three is about uh, the chariot. You know, this 93 reduces to 12, that reduces to three. So this three and this four is showing how you are now um, very assertive, very confident. Um, this is also showing the movement, like you moving powerfully uh, towards your goals and aspirations because that's, you know, the number of the chariot. Um, he moves with a force, uh, but it's because there's balance, you know. Uh, seven is also associated with the crown chakra. Uh, so there has been, as I said, you know, some sort of truth, clarity, illumination, an epiphany, a light bulb moment, uh, that aha, you know, uh, that has transpired. Um, we just had a flow a tree and the name of the song that was playing was called Closer. So, you know, even if that's, uh, you know, uh, I feel something's draw you're drawing closer to perhaps uh, this happy ending, but I also feel like someone could be coming towards you and they're getting closer and closer uh, to coming towards you. We have Emma uh, Samuels and this is called Burn. So there is like a burning desire, a burning passion. Uh, someone has feelings that have been lying dormant. Uh, maybe someone felt you you know, kind of being standoffish, blocked, guarded, uh, very defensive, um, very protective, you know, protective bubble in your sacred space. You know, maybe you've ghosted someone, ghosted people. You just in a very hermit mode type of energy where you're doing introspective work, reflecting, healing, um, doing self analysis even, uh, but also doing it with the intent to move forward. So there's this, 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 um, this very intentional uh, self-analysis to discover uh, truth and you do receive that so we have spirituality here so now you've ascended this is you being in that space as I said of the crown chakra uh, you know very understanding wise uh, cerebral very uh, intuitive psychic uh, very you know clairaudient or clairsentient um, you know someone who is very tapped in um, the 77 could also indicate that you have a twin flame remember I saw 1111 whenever I see double numbers numbers um, I always feel that that is showing 1717 so whenever I see double numbers I always feel like you're mirroring someone so you and another person are moving towards one another drawing closer uh, someone's feelings emotions passions are kind of like burning it's intensifying it's growing uh, that 1717 I saw that's eight eight six is seven so that's seven 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 so that could be the luck um, that I was picking up on I was picking up on some some really lucky times lucky moments um, I heard um, get money. Uh, maybe this is going to feel like a wish fulfillment as I was picking up earlier as well. Uh, maybe someone is looking at you as their wish fulfillment, a star, um, you know, someone that they have this affinity towards. Um, Maybe this is someone who has cancer in their chart, who was born on the seventh day of a month, the 25th day, um, maybe on uh, the 16th, you know, uh, maybe this is someone who um, just wants to communicate. Maybe they communicate with you telepathically, intuitively. This is someone who has a really burning fire and desire for you. Uh, someone I don't feel you're communicating with because that 7-7 seven, seven breaks down to 14, which is 5. Someone is trying to muster up the strength perhaps the courage uh, to come towards you the confidence perhaps um, and I do feel uh, there's distance maybe there's um, you know emotional distance physical distance uh, the train did go by so someone strongly desires to pay you a visit see you um, I feel like they just want to lay eyes on you they haven't seen you in a while um, I also feel like this person is watching you uh, through some sort of online means whether through your social media maybe through um, they if they live in a close enough vicinity maybe they know what where you reside and they drive by your home unbeknownst to you um, maybe this is someone that you have that's a secret admirer and this person does have maybe a picture that they look at uh, this could be an old photo um, but I feel like someone has saved the photo from you online like they did a, like a screenshot and saved a photo of you and that's something that they have on their phone 
um, and they look at it from time to time. Or maybe someone has a physical photo that they look at. Maybe someone is watching you via online. Um, but I do feel that there is a very strong spiritual connection to someone that's coming in uh, that is a twin flame, a soulmate, that is your, you know, that you are equally yoked with. Um, someone that, you know, has a very um, interesting uh, perspective. It's like you, you, you are intrigued by them and they, you, um, it's a very beautiful energy I'm, I'm picking up on. So we have Joe and this is called the love scene. So yeah, what did I say? Somebody got some fire, some fire and desire. Like this person's very passionate. Um, you know, this person is very, I just get a sense of like, they are, um, lusting, you know, lusting after you, lusting for you, um, craving, I heard the word craving, um, they're craving you, uh, self-pleasure is very strongly influenced here, because I keep seeing a red wand, um, you know, like the wand, the ace of wands, um, in my mind's eye, so it's like a, but it's like, it's like, <laughs> oh god, it's a little, that's an extra thought, I don't want to, I don't want to go there, but just think of like what an ace of wand, you know, insinuates, a very fallacious, uh, energy. So, you know, use your own imagination. I don't got to tell you my dirty thoughts. <laughs> All right. So I got a card that just ran away. Bottom of the deck, we have financial discipline. Then we just break down that you all, you know, have some sort of money, some sort of abundance, some financial blessing, reward. Uh, a lot of you are saving, working hard towards a particular goal. Uh, this 84 reduces to 12. That's three. That's the energy of an empress. An empress works very hard. Um, an empress is power. She's a master manifester. She is very, um, very well put together, you know, a very well oiled machine. So she knows how to master manifest. As I said, she sets her intentions and she, she gets what she desires because she knows her worth and value. So she never sub sells herself short. Um, so I do feel like there's some, some fulfillment financially, some, 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 some growth. I feel growth, you know, there's, there's like, uh, is that yellow or green? That's green on the symbol. So there's, you know, growth. There's, there's like, um, something's flourishing financially for you. And I feel like it's because, you know, many of you are saving more. Um, some of you are opening up IRAs. Some of you are, um, adjusting, you know, your, your retirement plans. Some of you are just doing, uh, your due diligence to, uh, you know, to get more bang for your buck. Um, I just saw two, two, tw uh, 11 and that's two, 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 which is six. So, you know, maybe you're also coming into some sort of business agreements because six is the lovers. So that could speak to like partnerships, alliances. So you could be, you know, maybe making some really um, wise business decisions, investments, uh, business deals, partnering up with the right people. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we got manifestation. So look at this. What did I say? Y'all was manifesting something. Um, when you are in that empress energy or even the emperor energy, you automatically uh, know how to man master manifest because you are in your higher self. You have ascended to that empress and emperor status. You weren't always that. And that emperor empress knows how to to manifest, knows how to make things happen. Um, they rule and run empires. So you have to um, know how to co-create with source. You know, you have to know how to um, be resourceful. Um, so this is a very powerful energy. So just as I said, many of you are master manifesting something because you have set your, in, your intention on it. And because you're now in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, it's it's like, again, you co-created with source and manifested something that's coming in quickly. The eight sideways is the infinity symbol. So I feel like there's like infinite possibilities uh, to whatever this is. This could be emotional fulfillment, abundance. This could be financial fulfillment and abundance because abundance is really uh, related to end anything. Um, this could even be your health. Um, but I do feel it has a lot to do with something emotionally because pink is also associated with the heart chakra. Um, you know, that's the color of the rose quartz. Some of you could be working with a rose quartz to manifest 
manifest love. Maybe you've been manifesting, um, you know, by means of, you know, writing in your manifestation books, you know, calling in love. Um, with the love scene, I do feel like uh, you are going to have a very passionate uh, connection with someone. They're going to speak your love language because the love scene for you is going to be like beyond your wildest imagination. Um, it's beyond your wildest um, dreams, hopes, desires. Like I said, it could be infinite possibilities. Uh, everything you've prayed for, hoped for, and wished for is manifesting. Um, I also feel like it's because your angels and guides see fit uh, to bless you, uh, to reward you, um, to gift you even because of the work, uh, because of, you know, you doing your due diligence um, to achieve these goals. And like I said, there's a new beginning. There's a, a, a beautiful brand new beginning. And a lot of you had to learn to stand, uh, you know, perpendicular in your square, stand erect, you know, how to tap into, you know, your your own individuality. You know, we got individuality here. So some of you were trapped in perhaps like codependent relationships and you needed to learn to be self-sufficient and independent because uh, your independence is the foundation for, you know, your stability, security and your abundance, your, you know, manifestations of your dreams. But you are wish fulfillment to someone as well. And I feel like your wishes, your, you know, wildest dreams are coming true. Uh, we have Tiana Taylor and this is called Words of Wisdom. So some of you all are. Are, um, I heard writers, authors, uh, some of you are poets, um, and I feel like you really, uh, maybe you are life coach uh, um, practitioners as well. Maybe you also have like a YouTube channel where uh, it's like a self-help you know, uh, where you're helping people, you know, through your words, maybe you impart wise words, loving words, you're very empathic, um, very kind soul. Um, and I feel like that could be, you know, that could be another reason why you're being rewarded, because you still have a pure heart, you know, that green card for perseverance, it, it shows that you went through a great deal, because that four, right before that is three, I get the three of swords, you suffered pain, loss, hurt, agony but you were still vibrating and functioning in a high vibration because that green shows the healing shows the maturity shows the growth that you did and you're now emotionally intelligent therefore you're you're operating from that space so it shows growth you know it shows that that loving and nurturing and healing aspect to you so that's beautiful and that's why spirit is like oh yeah you know rain rain all of that rain them dollars down on scorpio so we got the financial discipline like i said so we got jill scott playing watching me and remember i was feeling deep like I spy energy, whether from someone who is, um, you know, particularly intrigued by you, interested, attracted, you know, this is someone that's like um, secret admirer of vibration. Uh, you also got a couple of haters watching. You can't help that. Um, one thing I've learned is that, you know, even people who uh, don't F with you, they F with you, uh, meaning, you know, they could claim all day they don't rock with you like that but they still tuning in <laughs> they still tuning in by any means they done set up dummy accounts they went through the extra step of setting up a fraudulent account just to watch you because they've you've more than likely block them on whatever platforms, but they found the workarounds, you know what I'm saying, trying to work around, and it's like, if you don't rock with me, then why are you here, beloved, that's just like, I was looking at my um, statistics in YouTube, and I've found that 35% of the people that watch my channel are unsubscribed, right, so to me, I'm like, why are you here if it's such a task to hit subscribe to a channel. I don't watch a channel that I'm not subscribed to. If I'm watching you, I'm giving you my energy either way. So I might as well just subscribe and show the love. Like, yo, why are you here if you're not going to subscribe and to the channel? Other than that, go like go elsewhere. I don't need that type of like, to me that's vampiric. You know what I'm saying? That's like leechy. You know what I'm saying? Like you you coming through taking you know, fruits of knowledge from here and, and then utilizing it somewhere else. Like, yo, if you can't rotate the love, cause I'm all about rotating the love. I give you love, 
give it on back. Don't come in here leeching and being a parasite. I don't, I don't, I don't business with that. So I digress. So that's kind of like that energy. So let's see what we got that came out. So synchronicity. So whoever you are attracting, as I said, past life love, twin flame, 87 breaks down to 15, 15 breaks down to 6. Remember I mentioned lovers. So this is someone that's on the same frequency and vibration, wavelength. Someone that's in sync with you. Someone who is like the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Somebody that could potentially be that type of person that could complete your sentences or complete a thought, finish a sentence. Like maybe they have the same interests, you know, the same does comment commonalities as I said earlier there's just a lot that the two of you share um, and it's a likeness you know so you are attracting someone this is you manifesting this person I, I was picking up on some of y'all doing like love um, manifestation rituals and here it is you're meeting someone in your likeness um, we have a Mel LaRoe playing we can be new so this is someone you are familiar with someone from your past I'm also getting like six six of cups uh, someone from your past returning uh, someone that could have made you know some sort of other option this is someone that could have um, you know, cause some sort of ending, maybe divine timing was of the essence. Cause I feel like with someone coming back saying we can be new, I feel there's a chance that you're going to have to make a judgment call on this person. Um, you know, because there's a sense that, you know, uh, the two of you are, um, at odds or not communicating, uh, with, we could be new is almost like, you know, saying that we can, uh, reconcile, uh, we can, uh, heal a connection, uh, restore it, uh, resurrect it. I heard. So with this six, somebody is definitely feeling like, um, you are the one that got away. I feel that strongly. I heard that strongly. Uh, you're the one that got away. They have a lot of love. Um, and this is something that perhaps, um, they are trying to communicate with you uh, intuitively, telepathically, because I was picking up on someone sending you messages uh, intuitively because there is no communication. And someone is just kind of trying to feel it out before they come in. Uh, we got healing, so 6-6 six, six there. So there is, you know, and was um, some sort of time apart so that the two um, of you could heal. Remember what I said about double numbers. I feel like whenever I see double numbers, you and that person, you're attracting into your life um, is absolutely vibrating on the same frequency. Healing was necessary because I did feel heartbreak. I did feel like you had to heal from that. You had to grow from those experiences. You had to separate or sever or purge a certain person, a certain belief system, ideology, habit. Um, and now you're in this place where space again where you have um you know ascended into who you are supposed to be meant to be um i feel strongly a lot of you are um you know you are perhaps in this person's eyes someone that they see as like wifey material hubby material um you know someone that they could crown their queen or king uh this 66 breaks down to 12 which is three so they do feel like you are the yang to their yin yin to their yang um they want to renew something with you with a mel LaRoe saying and we could be new uh and i do feel they're trying to brave their light 32 32 uh to communicate you know because this is called brave bird so they're trying to be brave they're trying to muster up the strength uh, because you are in this divine feminine energy. Um, that is a very um, intimidating energy to someone who is, you know, not necessarily as emotionally intelligent uh, as you are, obviously. So this person is trying to brave some sort of fear. There's hesitance there. There's, you know, a lack of confidence even. And so this person truly obviously desires to be new with you to come back and to communicate because I did see uh, the 32, 32, which was 5, 5. So there was an ending with that person. Uh, this person could be going through some sort of karmic ending. Um, maybe you've just completed a karmic cycle and that's the reason why this person is now coming in because something has come full circle. So let's see what we have. And with synchronicity, I feel like not only, you know, uh, does this person uh, mirror you in terms of energy, but I feel like they're mirroring you in terms of experiences, things that they're going through as well. So let's see, how does this person Scorpio is attract and feel about our beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got individuality. So they do feel like you're very strong, independent, 
You know, they, they are attracted to you. They feel like you're very wise, very knowing, like you're v highly intuitive. It's like you see beyond the veil. You see beyond the illusions. You see beyond even words. Like people could speak words to you. You're not listening to them. You barely listen to what people say because you're focusing solely on the energy. You speak energy. You know what I'm talking about? And you also look at the actions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if the words and the actions are not aligning. If there's something that doesn't align, you're not you're not investing your energy. You're not giving it your attention. You're not focusing in and honing in on that that type of collaboration or connection with that person because you know you're all about you know your free dome. You're all about the 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 independence. You know having strong and solid foundations. Uh, so you don't want anybody coming in trying to trip you up or trying to have you in some damn you know that that what's that um, mud that quicksand. It's like it appears to be solid, but then you get in there and then it's like you slowly lose you know all concept of who you are, your identity. So it's like you're you're very in tune. You're tapped in. That 11, to me, you know, that's showing the two, which is the high priestess. So there's a knowingness. There's a, a deeper understanding, you know. So uh, how this person feels about you is, like I said, self-love, confident. You know, the 61 is also seven again. So they see you as someone who has gone, you've grown uh, personally, spiritually, um, you mentally, like you, you have ascended and you also have discovered, you know, the importance of self-love. Like, you know, now that your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your overall happiness. So you are now self-discipline, self-love, self-care is your motto. You know, that's why you're very particular about who you have around you, who you are, um, who you allow in your cipher. And we got Erica Badu singing love of my life. So now you can attract your, the love of your life because now, you know, you know, the importance of, 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 displaying self-love and you know you're exuding self-love so now you could attract somebody that's going to appreciate and accentuate that self-love you know they're going to treat you uh just as good or even better than you're treating yourself this is somebody that's rushing in this is somebody that's also very um attracted to your mind they find you to be very spiritual very down to earth you know this is somebody who has you know a very um strong attraction this is somebody that really really has a strong attraction to you guys scorpio it's like they're they're very intrigued by you it's like you are um very mysterious and that's intriguing it's like they see beyond like your tough exterior they also feel like you have a freak 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 quincy you know, so it's like they know, like, that's why I was picking up heavy, like, self-pleasure and everything. It's like this person, it's almost like they know, like, they, they're going to know how to touch you, you know, how to show the intimacy. They're going to know your love language because I keep hearing freak, weensy, freak, like the word freak, quincy. So it's freak. Frequency, not frequency. I keep hearing that in my mind's eye. So we got self-love. So yeah, this person is like, they love the way you love you. They love the way you treat you. They love the way you, you know, th the embodiment of you, who you are, what you stand for. Even if you're masculine energy, there's just something about your disposition, your dapper, your debonair, your confident. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to be like, you know, not to be, not to say like attractive, cause that's kind of, you know, I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way, but like, you know how, you know, if you're a bigger guy, it's like, you know, you still walk around like that King, you know, you, your confidence is, is what attracts them. It's just like what Biggie, you know, if you think about notorious B I G Biggie, it's like, you know, even heavy D it's like, these were bigger guys, you know what I'm saying? They weren't, you know, all cut up in you know six packs and you know d'angelo and how does it feel video they was some big dudes but their confidence made them even more attractive it was like you know you could still see yourself with them belly and all you know uh some say you know even um you know like rick ross you know what i'm saying they they, they say the same thing about him um i personally don't find him attractive i, I would 
but anyway, I digress. But, you know, but that's this kind of like what I'm saying. It's just like, you know, it's that energy of confidence. You know, you just kind of walk in the room and the whole energy, the frequency just kind of shifts. You know, you have a sexual, there's like this, this, um, somebody's like, there's just this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, sensual. It's like you're very sensual. Because I keep hearing frequency. So let me see. What's hidden? What's hidden from my beloved Scorpios? What's hidden in the energies from our beloved Scorpios? We have a message of love and light spirit. So this card wants to come out. I'm going to take that. Bottom of the deck, moderation. Somebody's making some necessary changes. Things are changing. And this is also going to, you know, encourage them to come towards you to communicate. I see 19 pride. So someone is having some sort of ego death. This is pride, ego. This is even stubbornness. You know, this is somebody operating from the, you know, I'm not going to them. They come to me. You know, somebody who's just takes themselves a little too seriously. You know, somebody who doesn't allow themselves to be vulnerable. They kind of hide behind a tough exterior, but on the inside, they mushy. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're big old Mr. Softy, you know. Even if it's a feminine energy, they play, you know, this old tough gal, but, you know, they're very sensitive. Say one thing and they start crying in the bathroom. You don't even know. But it's like, you know, th this is the death of that because this could be toxic. This could be unhealthy when you're just, you know, too proud. You know, there's a there's 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 a such thing as being too proud, too, too confident, you know, because then it comes off a certain way, you know. A lot of people felt that about um, Kanye West, you know, and it's just like, well, at what point, you know, it's like if you could root for somebody you don't know and, and treat them as if they're the best thing. Say, for instance, a Michael Jackson uh, or a Michael Jordan, pardon me, a Michael Jordan fan, you know, they will freaking argue you to the death. They will fight for their belief that this person is the best basketball player. So it's like, what's wrong with somebody having that same opinion about themselves you know especially if we're supposed to be t walking around out here like we you know are made in god's image and if you know it's like at, at, at what point that's how he's more than likely manifested the career and all that he has now is by his belief his knowing there's a knowingness that you know you know your birthright you know your 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 uh passage you know why you're here your purpose some some of them are just born knowing you know and that's why you get those that those break out stars superstars so it's like but somebody you know in the love arena perhaps maybe emotionally uh this is somebody that was imbalanced like they weren't in equilibrium you know um and so they didn't allow themselves i feel to feel uh they didn't allow themselves to 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 really um kind of simmer in their feelings it's like they they just acted without thinking or some of them was just like deceiving themselves overall like this is also like you know coming from a place of self um deception lying to oneself um you know maybe relying on you know uh, other people to even validate you uh you know maybe this person had a lot of people around them that just kind of made them feel like you know they you know they was they was the shiznit you know they didn't have to do anything you know, this is somebody who was not corrected much in childhood. Like they, they weren't corrected, chastised. Um, you know, this is somebody who, you know, can't, this is that type of person that just like, it's all about themselves. They're very self-absorbed, self-ish. Uh, we have Dwele singing Love Ultra. Yeah. So this person loves you a lot, I feel. And that's why I feel like what's hidden is they need to, you know, they're, they're, they're going, they're being stripped of this ego, you know, in 42, 42 was just on the clock so that's six six that's 12 yeah so somebody had some sort of ego death because maybe they went through some sort of suffocation heartbreak you know this is somebody you know that definitely had to go through some sort of pain they experienced some sort of pain and whether they want to or not moderations are happening changes are happening you know you got to learn how to pivot adjust when somebody is too proud they're stuck in their ways they're stubborn and so somebody had their heart broken I feel in some regard and that kind of, you know, triggered them to do the work, you know, with love ultra, maybe somebody loved someone, um, so much. And this person just, uh, perhaps betrayed them. What is the outcome? Maybe there was a betrayal parenting. So some of you all could be dealing with the mother or father of your child. Somebody could be dealing with, you know, their parental issue, like, you know, mommy, daddy issues. Maybe there's a parent. Someone has some sort of a strange relationship, toxic relationship. Maybe someone was, you know, had some, you know, yes people around them. 
and they're starting to see, you know, it's like reflection. It's like they, they were kind of like, it was too proud to be honest. Like I said, I was picking up on like self-deception. And so I do feel like, you know, and there's a, uh, there's a literal thunderstorm and the sun is out. The sun is like rocking right now. I saw a rainbow the other day and I feel like there's another rainbow out there. Pardon me. I know that doesn't look good. But yeah, this, 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 there's a death of an ego. Then now somebody's seeing the truth. You know, the truth always sets you free. So somebody's perhaps looking at, you know, uh, the other parent, maybe some of you all, the, the karmic could have been the mother or father to your children, your child, somebody you were engaged to. I feel like there's some sort of truth. The nine represents the highest number of change. It also is, you know, the birthing of something new, you know, and we got millionaire playing by music soul child. So like I said, some of you all are going to be very um, successful. We have forgiveness. So somebody's uh, children's mother, father, child's mother or father, maybe even a parent wants your forgiveness. Maybe you need to show forgiveness to someone. Maybe you, whether you realize it or not, you're still holding on to animosity. You know, there's a need to show forgiveness. There's a need to show love. Forgiveness is always for you when you carry when you hold on to like animosity resentment it's like that that grows into like energetic baggage it's an anchor you know and so you know you, you won't be able to ascend when you got baggage so it's like you got to cut yourself clean clear yourself purge purify yourself before there's like a leveling up in ascension you know with this outcome maybe this is someone um who is you know having that epiphany uh, through your forgiveness, through your kindness, you know, somebody is now seeing the greatness in you, seeing how immature and foolish, you know, ignorant, blind they could have been. New beginnings are here. So there is a beautiful new beginning. And I feel this new beginning is coming because you've shown forgiveness, compassion, kindness, you know, when you could have judged someone you chose not to. Surrender. Spirit is telling you surrender. Surrender to divine. Div when you surrender, you're not judging. You're you're only showing full compassion. You're trusting the process. You're giving in. You know. This is beautiful. And with this millionaire, I feel like that's why the spirit is saying, "Look, you deserve abundance." And I just spoke of compassion, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. So remember, surrender was on the bottom of the deck, and this was right underneath it. So trust the process. I heard walk in faith and trust, you know, wherever spirit guides you, you trust your intuition. Remember, we also had abundance. Look at this. So you guys are being rewarded. There's wish fulfillment. I feel a lot of y'all know, you know, and this is somebody I do feel like that's a divine masculine that could be coming in because two, two reduces to four. But I also feel this is somebody who's just as psychic in tune. And I did mention this is a like-minded person, someone that's on the frequency. Remember, we saw spirituality earlier. And so spirituality is, you know, that's that's personal growth. That's a crown chakra. So you and another person are highly intuitive. I was feeling somebody was, you know, kind of like sending you messages intuitively, telepathically, maybe even dreaming of you. This is somebody that's, you know, you're constantly on their mind. They're constantly thinking of you. Bottom of the deck, we got carnucopia. So this is blessings, wash, uh, wish fulfillment. You know, this is, uh, you know, breakthroughs, victory, success, expansion, growth, elevation, financial freedom. You know, this is, you know, the harvest. This is the seed that you sowed is now, you know, you're reaping what you, you know, you did, you sowed. I saw 47, 47, 11, 11 again. Look at this blossoming abundance and carnucopia. This, the, the lightning just struck. I don't know if you hear that. So that definitely is telling me that this is going to come in very unexpectedly. It's like spirit is blessing you because of the hard work. We got three and two. You're going to receive a message, communication. Some of you all have tapped into your uh, divine um, gifts, skills, talents. You've been uh, really tapping into your spirituality. Some of you have discovered you are healers, shamans, light workers, uh, intuitive scryers. Um, some of you could be tower readers. Some of you are singers. Uh, some of you are authors, uh, poets, writers. Um, I did say that, but I, I just feel like some of you have tapped into your, uh, you know, your spiritual purpose purpose, gift, talent, and you are being rewarded uh, because you've discovered that. I feel like a lot of you all are um, definitely um, 
It's like you've been ushered in by perhaps a master teacher, a magi, um, you know, a sorcerer, a healer, uh, a Reiki, like, you know, an elder, um, a practitioner. Um, you know, you, you, you've been kind of like ushered into something, initiated. I heard the word initiated. So, yeah. So divine spirit 11 light because we do have manifestation. So it's like you've learned. Look what just flipped up. I, 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 you know, you guys are just abundant. Look what just flipped up. Door to, to uh, value is here. And this is clarifying manifestation. So be prepared, Scorpios. Like y'all got some wish fulfillments coming in. And, and I was picking up like financial, uh, you know, freedom. I was picking up you all being very stable you know, very, very successful, very, you know, this is expansion, growth. This door is opening up because you're entering into some sort of new chapter. You know, this is a new chapter in your life. And this is something that you have worked for. We got strategy here. Didn't I mention that somebody is coming toward you? They're trying to determine how they're trying to, you know, trying to, uh, strategize the way to come towards you rehearsing what they're going to say um maybe even how they're going to come towards you this is someone that there is some sort of physical distance you know i feel they are at a distance because 21 is the number of the world card in traditional tarot um so i do feel like you know this person could be at a distance from you yeah and and it could have been something that ended prematurely because we have tiana taylor singing sorry so this person is trying to strategize how to apologize for something they may have done. Something that caused you heartache because I'm getting the three of swords from this. And now they want to repair. You know, they want to reconcile. They want to rebuild, work together. This is someone that feels you're the yang to the yin also. The one that got away I was hearing earlier. Somebody that feels like, you know, you, you bring them joy. You bring them happiness. I heard you fulfill them, you know. It's very beautiful. And this person is sorry for whatever they've done. I see the 19 here. And this is rest and rejuvenate. So there is a lot of internal work being done right now. Somebody is really being, you know, cleansed, purified, uh, blissed with divine downloads, interventions, transmissions, signs, synchronicities. That's that energy, you know, trying to strategize how to come in. This is an energy of meditating to get it straight, contemplating. You know, this is really that, that, that purification that that cleanse you know and once they do there's this new uh f this new endeavor that they're going to embark upon this is also discovering one's passions you know this is a cleansing also from spirit you know someone is going through some sort of ending you know there's a cycle that's coming to completion and now they're trying to strategize you know how to um you know go after their dreams hopes and desires and we have Jagged Edge, and the name of this song is called Healing. And remember, we saw 66, 12, that's three. So somebody's definitely healing. You know, this is a very healing energy vibration. This is about rest restoration also, rec recovery, you know, rejuvenating one's spirit, heart, mind, soul, body, you know, after going through something painful. Because we have Jagged Edge singing, um, healing so when i heard jagged edge i heard somebody's heart was pierced so there was heartache loss somebody feels this heartache and loss also uh you know being you know in separation from you someone is having some sort of you know uh profound um you know epiphany as i said you know the crown shock was very active so there's a lot of divine downloads somebody's having some sort of um uh, divine download spirit is really uh really um working with someone to to heal themselves and the name of this album is called je heartbreak so this person that's coming towards you has suffered heartache and pain i feel like this is someone who had to go through some sort of um ego death pride you know remember we saw individuality so there could have been codependent relationships connections and someone could have parted ways with them and they were still kind of attached to that energy clinging to that energy and when that energy just severed, it's separated, you know, it, it, it caused heartache. But let's see, why is self-love here for how this person, Scorpio, is attracting feels? Okay. And we got the temple path. 
So as I said, you attract what you are. This is showing, you know, that there's marriage in your future ceremonies, you know, spirit is definitely, you know, uh, co you know, conspiring behind the scene to bring you into a very sacred union, especially in that divine feminine energy. You're going to attract that divine masculine. That three is vibrating to, you know, the empress energy. If you're masculine, the emperor energy. This is also saying that, you know, someone sees you, as I said earlier, as, you know, wifey material, hubby material. You know, this is someone that wants to heal this connection because they feel pain. They feel heartbreak. You know, this is somebody that definitely is feeling heartbreak. So we have seventh chakra and this is Archangel Uriel. So what did I say about somebody really seeing you as someone who's, you know, uh, very psychic, very intuitive. You just have, you know, this, this knowing, you know, this deep knowing, understanding, you know, this is like the seventh chakra and the 61. Remember I said was seventh chakra as well. So that shows the personal growth mentally, emotionally, spiritually, that shows the ascension that shows your sensitivity, that you are very activated, that you're very in tune, connected to so to spirit. And you're also, you know, operating and functioning from your higher self, that Christ consciousness, that God frequency. I feel like a lot of you all are, uh, you know, meant to utilize your throat chakras to heal others, to heal the collective. Um, because this song is called Healing and this 41 reduces to five, which is the throat chakra. So some of you all are, in fact, psychics or healers or shamans um, and your gift skills and talents are used uh, or are meant to be used to heal the collective, according to Jagged Edge, um, you know, to help people break generational curses, to heal from toxicity, trauma. Um, and with this, as I said, I was picking up initiates. Um, so let's see what we got. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is 19 pride here? For what's hidden in the energy may have a message of love and light. What did I say about somebody wanting to communicate? And see that this is what this person is trying to get past their fears, you know, but the beautiful thing is that this 19 is showing there's an ending of someone trapped in a very stubborn and very proud, egotistical headspace. You know, this is someone that's going to emote, going to express, going to communicate their feelings. We have a uh, baby face. So this could be someone, as I said, that could have been like very emotionally um, immature, stunted, um, limited. Um, and they did so out of, you know, just just blind ignorance, you know, you know. Um, but with soon as I get home, as I said, somebody that's at, at a distance, I feel this person also sees you as home, as hearth, as you know, the home is the heart is where the home. Well, how do they say that the home is where the heart is? So it's like this person wants to return home to you because their heart is with you. Their love um, is is absolutely uh, it's it's just intensifying. It's not going anywhere. And I remember I was picking up the the Ace of Wands earlier, and then this one, which is you know uh, pretty much indicative of the Ace of Wands, the new beginning. So that's the passion, that growth, you know that that passion growing, intensifying, erupting within. But somebody is definitely having a wake up call um, that they need to express something that they have been kind of um, suppressing. Um, there's need to communicate, but this person is really trying to, you know, strategize the means, uh, the ways, the words, what they wish to, um, emote or express to you, uh, because this person definitely is, um, you know, getting the divine downloads and they want to trust their intuition. Ultimately they're using discernment. So we have caring connection and 19 pride. What did I say? Somebody was like, you know, trying to fight their feelings. This is somebody being stubborn. You know, I'm not going to go chase after Scorpio. Let them chase me. Meanwhile, you didn't chase them. You kept it moving. 57, 57, 12, 12. That's three, 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 six. That's someone from your past that chose to go in a different direction because of pride. You know, they had other people in their ear, you know, telling them how, you know, you don't need to chase nobody. You know, let Scorpio come to you. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, this person really loves you. This person really cares for you, you know, but this person could have been trapped in, you know, this, just the, um, just the, it's like self-denial, you know, is it, denial, you know, they were denying their true feelings. They were denying something here. That's why the ego death is happening. You know, that's why surrender was there because they was trying to fight it. 
This is like don't fight the feelings. This could be your energy or the person you're attracting. But this is what's hidden, you know. When you're fighting something that's inevitable, you're only prolonging the process. That's why spirit is like, look, surrender, all right? I know what I'm doing up here, all right? <laughs> and I feel like now somebody is like, you know, with the courage, you know, I was picking up somebody needing to muster up the courage. This 39 reduces to three. You are so attractive, so confident, you know, you come off so down to earth. So, you know, you, you're just like, just, just very powerful energy. You're like a boss, a leader, you know, you're like that king. Like I said, this is like a, you have a very, um, very confident, uh, you know, personality. So this person is like, you know, kind of like intimidated, you know, and we got tender lover playing and baby face. Remember, so I feel with that baby reference, I just feel like they're not like emotionally, they're not on your level. Everything else about them is on the same frequency, but I felt like emotionally in the past, this person wasn't on your level. You know, why is 63 parenting here? They have a message of love and light. Thank you. Dang, that almost knocked, turned the computer off. All right, so what do we have? My nose is itching like crazy. So we have action, we have healer of the ages, and we have angel of balance. Remember, I was saying somebody was imbalanced. And we got, look at that, the door to personal healing and happiness, 34. That was the 7-7. Seven, seven. Remember, luck, I was saying luck because we had 37. Uh, we had 777 seven, seven at one point in time in the beginning of the reading. And I was saying there was luck, there's, you know, opportunities, blessings, wish fulfillment. The divine is, like, gifting you. And this some envious eyes look at these old envious hateful ass people because you're on the precipice of something new these are the people that you have cut off people that was causing confusion twos are always about decisions choices you chose to you know leave them behind and keep it pushing you know everybody's not going to be happy for you know your success you know some people will pray for you to succeed and some people will be praying for you to fall to fail you know to to you know, to be in a, um, you know, in a spirit of lack, you know, whoever these individuals were, they had you on an emotional roller coaster ride. Uh, according to Vivian Green, she's singing emotional roller coaster. Loving you ain't nothing healthy. Loving you was never good for me. But I can't get out emotional roller coaster yeah that's what some of you guys were on and that's because you was dealing with somebody that was very envious jealous in a secret competition somebody envious of you and they're supposed to be your homie lover friend it's supposed to be somebody that you can trust and confide in and tell your good news to and they sitting back envious and hating on that's very dangerous so that's why i said it's very important to cut those soul ties to cut the karmic cords to purge to release because sometimes when you try to hold on to things that are there's no space or place for it in your life in your future and you, you're just trying to prolong something and it's just like all you're doing is just like you're, you're fighting against the current. But here we see there's something, you know, this action here. It's like movement. You're moving away from, you know, perhaps, you know, your children's mother or father. You know, with this parenting showing up, this is showing that, you know, this is the death of something. Nine is the highest number of change. You're changing direction. If you were trying to work towards, uh, you know, a marriage or, you know, maybe even a relationship with the children's father or children's mother, it's like you're realizing that you need to take action in an opposite direction because this is hindering you and blocking you. There's wish fulfillment and luck and, you know, all of your dreams, hopes and desires in a completely different direction. You know, some of you all were going backwards, you know, because because this is like, you know, emotional roller coasters are like you're literally just prolonging the lesson. You're repeating a cycle um, over and over and over and expecting different results. And then you finally had that epiphany. This is that 17, the eight, you know, so this is like, you know, self-imposed mental anguish and needing to take action to choose another, you know, course of action. And so that's what you did. Now you're in balance. Now you're back in harmony because somebody was causing disharmony in your life. And it could have been, as I said, a mother or father to your child. That's what was hidden. This person was trying to confuse you, manipulate you, maybe even, um, you know, block some sort of opportunity. 
But what we see here is you still forgave. You smiled and forgave them all. Why? Because a lot of you, as I said, are initiates. A lot of you had a knowingness. This is you connected to your Christ consciousness. This is you tapped in, tuned in to your higher self. This is God frequency right here. You're getting divine downloads, interventions. You're also, you know, very powerful master manifestors because you are master manifesting and co-creating with source. You know, whenever there's archways that denotes, you know, initiation, you know, into a higher, um, you know, a, a, a spiritual strength, a spiritual knowingness. And you're just, you're, you're very much, um, being ordained or, you know, um, deemed to be like healers of your time, you know, shamans, um, psychics, uh, maybe the music you're going to create is going to be on the level of, you know, what a Michael Jackson, a Earth, Wind and Fire, a U2, you know, just music that still resonates and permeates uh, years and years later, centuries later, like you, your music, your gifts, your talents, something that you do, something you create um, is going to be utilized to heal um, generations there after you. You've been ordained and assigned this. Um, and that's why. I was feeling like a lot of you had to endure whatever it was you you endured and that's why these blessings you saw carnucopia and you know the door to abundance or abundance there you had the door to personal healing and happiness so these are all you know the the breakthroughs that come you know it's almost like you know that pot of gold at the end of a rainbow um, and I saw a rainbow the day before my daughter waters solar return um, and it was very beautiful because it was right outside our um, building and my son noticed it before we did um, and he came in and, and, and told us but it was funny because earlier that day as I was shopping I was like you know looking up at the sky I said there's a rainbow we're gonna see a rainbow today and then sure enough an hour and change later we did see it so you know what we have here is new beginnings angel of balance so like I said you're just in alignment mind body spirit soul spiritually emotionally uh this is really that beautiful energy of being just in that space of oneness wholeness and balance so you are very much um protected uh you know and guided you know you're, you're being guided you know towards this new path this new journey there's happiness ahead of you there's a lot of joy. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of success, man. And we got mint conditions. So things are like, you know, really recovering nicely for you. And remember, you had the door to personal healing and happiness. So, you know, every great healer has to first heal themselves, as I always say. Um, so what do we want to use next? We're going to use, let me see what we got coming in for love. Bottom of the deck. Trust. So you got to trust. Remember what I said, you know, when you surrender, you're walking in faith. So I feel like trust in the divine. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So, you know, you have to hold on to your faith. If you are manifesting, you definitely can't have doubts in the midst of manifesting because your manifestations won't work. So trust that the divine is in control. See that? Let go of control issues. Remember, spirit already told you surrender. So when you don't surrender, that's you trying to take the reins from the divine as if you know what's best. So spirit is saying, let go of the control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So maybe some of you all, uh, if you are trying to, you know, call a specific person in, maybe spirit is like honestly blatantly telling you like the person you think is your person isn't necessarily your person. You know, maybe there's somebody better, somebody that's more in harmony, frequency on the vibration um, we got mint condition and the name of the song is called walk on. So some of y'all need to leave somebody behind that you have been holding on to, you know, you don't want to hold on to something that you need to let go of, you know, cause all you're doing, remember, you're just repeating the lesson and a lesson shall repeat itself until it's learned, you know? So let's see what we got coming in from the romance angels from my beautiful Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for my beautiful, thank you, spirit? So a card just flew out. We have chemistry. I mentioned chemistry, synergy, commonality, familiarity for this divine masculine that's coming in. That's going to be the telltale sign that this person is your person because they're going to finish your sentence. You're going to have the same likeness, the same interest. There's just going to be something very special about that connection. It's a spiritual one. You're going to feel it in your bones, in your body, in your gut. You know, it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. 
and I was picking up on someone having a, a very magnetic pull to you, very, very drawn to you, very intrigued, very attracted. So let's see what we have. It says let go of control issues. So some of you all, if you are um, waiting for funds or whatever it is, it's like, you know, let go and let the most high, let God handle the situation because everything is going to be as it should be. You know, everything's going to, if you all are holding on to a job that you know there is no future, you know that there's no growth, um, you're not, there, there's just no growth, you're just roofed in that position, then spirit is saying walk on from that because there's something greater. Let go of the control issue, you know, you are what you think you are. If you feel you deserve more, if you feel that, you know, there's something better for you, then go out there and get it, you know, don't, don't limit yourself, okay? But I do feel like, um... You know, a lot of you are being rewarded because of uh, your ability to surrender and just trust in the divine and walk in faith. Because remember, we had walk on. So I do feel like a lot of you all uh, have decided to walk in faith, to to take that leap of faith, to just be more daring, more risky and and just go with the flow. And now that's the reward. That's the abundance. That's the the grand opportunities presenting themselves. And that's the wish fulfillment. Um, we have true love here on the bottom of the deck. And we're about to clarify the person you're attracting. Uh, right now we have Faith Evans. This is called Stop and Go. And then remember, we are clarifying synchronicity and strategy. So this person has a tendency of, of you know, like procrastinating. Um, they really love you because we see true love here. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. But this person is a procrastinator. They talk themselves out of it. They're constantly talking themselves in circles. So they, you know, they, they prepare to come in and then they stop themselves. They stop themselves from coming in because they talk themselves out of it. So I almost feel like this is like analysis paralysis, somebody deceiving themselves. But remember that, um, that pride ego death is here also. So this person truly loves you. Uh, someone that truly has strong feelings. Why is 87 synchronicity and strategy here for the person Scorpio is attracting or the person that Scorpio is, um, yeah, attracting to them? They have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we have healing family issues. So someone is healing from past wounds and traumas. They're healing their inner child even, you know, and we have finances and career. So someone is dealing with their finances. They perhaps trying to, um, you know, get some things in line, get some things in order uh, before they come in. They're trying to be very strategic because they want to have something to offer you to add on to the connection. Maybe this is that person, like I said, who wants to come in and partner up, but they don't want to come in empty handed because they already see you as being very abundant, very successful in that divine feminine or divine masculine energy. So this person could be like working towards a specific goal. Um, and so they're trying to be very strategic, trying to be very resourceful, very practical in this circumstance. And they're also, um, you know, wanting, you know, to heal uh, this connection. Remember we had healing and then the healing card. So it says healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person realizes like, you know, at the end of the day, remember parenting also showed up. It's like someone was kind of, um, you know, chained, uh, to, uh, some sort of belief pattern or some sort of belief system ideology, uh, because maybe this is the way they were reared. Um, this is the way that they, um, were taught uh, something specific, which is what had them stuck in this very proud, uh, stubborn, egotistical um, way. You know, maybe they were uh, dealing with parents that were kind of like metal, meddlesome, um, you know, but with stop, go, maybe somebody was confiding in perhaps uh, a family member or f uh, confiding in a loved one. And this person would cause them to second guess themselves, um, you know, and they went against their better judgment. So this kind of had them procrastinating, um, also deceiving themselves in terms of their feelings. Uh, and I feel like they they truly um, are starting to see something, you know, maybe by watching you, uh, tuning into you, they see or hear something, um, that resonates with them. And it teaches them that, you know, love is unconditional. Um, but they also realize that, you know, maybe they were very judgmental. Um, maybe they were very, um, guarded, you know, they didn't, uh, open up as much, you know, maybe there were certain differences that they allowed themselves to uh, use as an excuse to not come towards you. 
maybe there were certain differences, maybe uh, religious factors, maybe even like ethnic differences, maybe someone lives in a different location, uh, maybe there's children that were a factor, uh, it could be anything. Um, we have Erica Badu singing Me, so that was a very uh, personal, that was someone who was dealing with their own personal internal issues, because Me is, you know, um, speaking to them, so with Me, I feel like that person was dealing with their own internal issues. And it says, stay optimistic about your love life. So, yeah, this is, I was saying somebody was like, um, yeah, they, 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 I feel like somebody felt very, um, undeserving of love. You know, um, if it was undeserving, it was just like, there, maybe there was, um, unrequited love. Someone loved someone that didn't love them back. And they could have rejected someone that was divinely meant for them. Let me see. Why is 61... What is that? Self-love, pardon me. And 41, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, spirit. Let me just finish the shuffle. See what's on the bottom of the deck, honeymoon. Didn't I say a marriage, perhaps, was in your future? So I'm going to take the cards like this. So we have codependency. I mentioned codependency, forgiving and learning, attraction, passion. I mentioned that. And it is safe for you to love. So codependency, what did I say? Many of you all, you had to learn if this is not you. This person definitely was codependent on your energy. Or maybe this person is realizing how they feel about you is that they are like addicted to you. There's just something about your energy, your vibration that kind of draws this person in. Um, with me, I used to use me. Um, the acronym was mysterious elements. So there's something very mysterious about you that just attracts this person. And I feel like they're addicted to you. Um, maybe this person uh, has some sort of addictions which kind of um, prevented this connection from happening. Maybe some of you all were dealing with someone who was, um, you know, had some sort of codependent um, drug addictions, drinking addictions, uh, maybe even sexual addictions you didn't know about. I heard gambling very loud in my mind's eye. Um, so something that was um, very toxic, um, and, uh, you know, burdensome, um, you had to release it and you had to focus on just you. Uh, she's singing just me. So you had to love you. Um, I'm hearing me, myself and I, that's what self love is. This is focusing on the self. Like I said, prioritizing your needs, uh, your wants, discovering your love language. And so you got out of and broke free from, uh, some sort of codependent connection. Um, this person is realizing also, um, that that's kind of like what they're dealing with as well. They could be dealing with a partner that could be dealing with them solely for material gain. Um, I also see here with the um, 19 pride and caring connections, and then we have forgiving and learning. So there is someone, like I said, you know, perhaps uh, that could have chose another person um, over you. You know, maybe this was somebody who felt um, that they had to try to work something out uh, with, a, you know, maybe a karmic. Maybe they were already in a relationship. Whatever this third party entity was, uh, someone has learned some lessons from this. And I feel not was it just you learning the lessons of, you know, rejection uh, being for your protection, but also someone learning that everything that glitters isn't gold. The grass isn't always going to be greener. Having multiple options isn't always going to be better uh, because most of the options could be bad options. And I feel like that was absolutely a truth for someone because the lightning just struck. So that was just like something happened suddenly. Maybe somebody realized someone wasn't who they thought they were. And as much as they cared for another person, um, the love, the concern wasn't there. They felt very alone in that relationship because Erica Badu is still singing just me. Um, so I do feel like somebody had to learn. Um, karma Dharma is what I just heard. So somebody had to learn 
uh, from their mistakes. Uh, and it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So someone did get their heart broken. And I feel like that's the energy that's hidden right now is someone is having the ego death because someone that they chose, someone that they loved wholeheartedly, dearly, um, may not have chose them. Maybe they found out this person was cheating. Uh, this feminine has her back turned, um, so maybe this feminine, maybe the masculine, uh, if this was a masculine, you know, uh, had a female that you just kind of completely ghosted them, turned their back on them, um, broke their heart, but they're learning, uh, you know, you gotta teach, you teach people how to treat you by being what you want. You know what I'm saying? You got to reflect back to people what you want. So self-love uh, teaches people how to love you. You know, you got to love yourself. So with the parenting and the action and attraction, I feel somebody definitely sees you as very maternal, uh, very domestic, very down to earth, um, very approachable, very loving. Um, also a wish fulfillment. Uh, someone who has healed themselves, someone who is very vulnerable, open, honest. Um, this is somebody that is drawn to you. It says you attract that romantic love by enjoying this moment um, fully. And that's absolutely what you're doing. As I said, free dome. Um, you've completely freed yourself. These these horses taking off represents free dome, you know, no longer being mentally conflicted because I get the 17, um, the eight of uh, swords uh, where, you know, maybe you were trapped in a codependent relationship with someone where you had to learn uh, some very valuable lessons. Um, now that you've learned these lessons, now that you have evolved, uh, you know that there's infinite possibilities out here. And because you are now operating and functioning uh, in a very self-loving, self-caring um, way, now you're attracting what you are to you because you do attract what you are uh, with the forgiveness and the healer of the ages, I feel some of you all are discovering your passion. And by you discovering your passion and living your purpose, your truth, you're also awakening your divine masculine or feminine uh, to the passion, the fire and desire that they have for you, uh, to which they are very um sexually attracted we have ready for the world singing let me love you down and remember earlier i was picking up on the word freak quincy so this person wants to like devour you i heard the word devour uh and it's because they are literally like they feel like you have just this this healing energy you know you just you operate and function from a space of love and light um and you just really just you 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 give them a sense of like a charge um, it's like you rejuvenate this spirit. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So that's absolutely uh, what you're going to do when this person comes through. I feel like this person is going to show you um, how uh, much they love you. Um, they're also going to express to you how uh, apologetic they are for perhaps choosing someone else over you in the past or maybe uh, this is someone who uh, chose not to uh, reveal or confess or express their feelings because they was deceiving themselves. I feel this person is coming in with a lot of passion. This passion is pent up. This is someone that is like physically attracted to you, mentally uh, attracted to you. Um, and it says it is safe to love because this angel of balance has restored the balance. So both of you were healing um, from past wounds, traumas, even past life traumas. And now this angel of balance is restoring you so that you could come into harmony, you know, back into alignment with what is meant for you. Spirit is saying it's safe for you to love because you have done the work. And love is absolutely coming in because you're deserving of it. So this is powerful, y'all. All right, so let's see. We're going to post some messages from the African-American Tarot deck. We're going to clarify with my deck, and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. and I mean, the King of Cups and the Six of Wands. So what did I say? There's love coming in. And that's because you know now, uh, out after balancing yourself, after finding that emotional equilibrium in yourself, um, you know, and you doing what is, you know, necessary for you, it's like now somebody is, you know, they, they're, they're coming in. You know, this also is like victory, you know, the success. This is marriage, you know, a, a marriage ceremony. 
This is like acknowledgement from the divine, like there's blessings, you know, look at that. There goes the six of cups, the lovers. I can't make, I mean the, the six, the lovers said the six of cups. See that? And let me love you down this plane. So somebody is coming in. Somebody's returning. This person has a lot of passion, a lot of adoration, a lot of attraction. You know, this is somebody that you're going to have a very beautiful synergy connection to. This is a gift from the divine that goes to Hierophant. So this is like the, the Hierophant is officiating. This is like a marriage. This is somebody that's coming into your life to, to wife you up. Remember I saw 1111 or hub you up. This is somebody you're going to end up with. I feel a strong commitment. This person is going to love you down. This person is going to have your back, your middle, your front. This person is going to be like your uh, partner. Look at the passion this person has for this divine feminine energy. He's very protective of this beautiful energy. You know, look at how he's holding her, supporting her, you know, protecting her, showing her love. I told you somebody's going to show you this time around. They're going to show you. You're going to see. And we have this Knight of Wands. So this is the energy here. Let go of control issues. Somebody that was kind of flighty in and out all over the place immature is the reason why a lot of you were kind of like uh, very guarded, you know, very passe when it came to perhaps love. Maybe some of you all were kind of like dealing with a, a very uh, immature, unreliable energy. And this was, you know, something that you had to release. You know, someone that could have also been very uh, passionate, lusty, you know, and that's why spirit was saying let go of control issues because, you know, this person is, it could be very controlling. This is a very non-committal energy. You know, this is somebody who also could have caught some sort of, uh, you know, sexual transmitted disease or somebody, you know, even a spiritual sex uh, transmitted disease, somebody who thought uh, with their Johnson, you know, the overall energy. And I feel like you had to let go and let God, as I said, you had to release that person. You know, I feel like there was a lot of love that you had for someone, but you, when you let go of that person, that's when you started to see things open up because you was dealing with someone that was non-committal. This was somebody who was definitely afraid of commitment Someone very immature, childish, me, 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 I, 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 had you in confusion, had you, you know, really like second guessing yourself. You know, this is someone who had you in a space of like indecision. And I feel like a lot of times this person like shot down your dreams. You know, this is somebody that wouldn't like allow you to move at your own leisure because they would do anything to try to, um, you know, manipulate and monopolize situations to control situations. And that's why you was torn half the time. You know, that's why spirit was saying when you finally let go of the control issue, thinking that you can control the situation or control yourself or, you know, even like the narrative, you know. Telling yourself you were in control when in fact you weren't because whenever you're dealing with this energy, they're kind of like all over the place. You know, they they speak with a forked tongue and it's because they, they'll say or do anything to get what they want, you know. Um, and so with uh, we got a tribe called Quest um, and it says, um, what is the name of this? Yeah, Award. So it, this is called Award Tour by a tribe called Quest. And remember, these cards are clarifying Remember the door to value and the abundance. So this is, I feel, what you had to endure, what you had to do, the change you had to implement in order to receive the reward, you know, and be awarded by the divine. Because you've been through, you know, enormous change. Like this has not been um, easy. You know, this journey hasn't been easy, you know, to learn these lessons, you know, uh, you had to do the work. And I feel like you absolutely have been doing the work. That's why you're being, you know, rewarded, awarded, you know. So the two of swords, which uh, definitely um, getting to the energy of the person you're attracting. And remember the finances, we have strategy and synchronicity. So this is this person, you know, kind of like in two, two, spa two head spaces, you know, in kind of like in two minds, again, indecision, uh, needing to use, uh, you know, head over heart needing to trust their intuition. So why is 87 synchronicity strategy finances? And you do see that with the strategy because they are, uh, you know, kind of analyzing and observing, you know, using logic. Why is the synchronicity? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. And we got the ten of swords. See that? 
Somebody was going through a painful ending, a loss, a cycle completed, and you got the high priestess there. So someone is dealing with someone who was really uh, trying to control them. You know, they looked at them as, you know, like, you know how you have um, a trophy wife because I hear award. So I'm thinking of a trophy because this is called a ward tour. So it's like somebody had like a trophy wife or a tro trophy husband. And it's like somebody was really um, being very manipulative, very cunning, calculating. Um, I was picking up on somebody using someone for material gain, money, you know, and somebody's finances were affected. You know, and it was receiving all kind of signs and synchronicities that something was happening. You know, somebody was being very strategic, you know, very cunning, perhaps, you know. But I do feel like there's like some epiphany because this person is also very psychic, very in tune, very tapped in. And there was a painful ending, a loss. This is like a betrayal, being deceived. Remember, we have envy here. So someone is very envious of another person. Someone was keeping secrets as well, because the moon is underneath that. So there's like, you know, someone was definitely, um, I heard wounded warrior. You know, this is like a wounded warrior. Maybe they feel like you, you know, you always, um, you know, kind of like, help them um, to feel better. You kind of help them to um, to see things in a whole new perspective, a whole new light. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just a beautiful energy. And we got Lauren Hill when it hurts uh, so bad. Huh? Give me one moment, y'all. My son is interrupting me. So the Ten of Swords, pardon me. So the Ten of Swords shows like somebody had to go through some sort of painful loss and ending. I also feel that you've experienced this as well. And I feel like what you all did was you had to heal yourselves. Lauren Hill is singing when it hurts so bad. Why does it feel so good? So that's what you all had to do. You know, you went through something where it taught you to love yourselves because what you was given, it you wasn't getting back. It wasn't it wasn't hitting on nothing. It's like what you was given, it wasn't being reciprocated. It wasn't being appreciated. It wasn't being valued. It wasn't even being acknowledged half the time. And you knew deep down something else was going on. Something wasn't right. Um, and you ultimately discovered that you was in a codependent connection. This is a relationship where, like Lauren is saying, if it, you know, when it hurts so bad, why? Why does it feel so good? And that's because you was dealing with a narcissist for some of y'all. You was dealing with somebody who knew how to, uh, you know, paint illusions, somebody who was a mind, uh, you know, ucker, you know, somebody who was definitely like mind ucking you. And so that's why it hurt so bad and felt so good because you was being tricked, duped, gaslit. Um, and so this Ten of Swords didn't feel so good, you know, having to heal from that, having to recover from that. And now that's where you are right now because you're focused on, on self-love and self-care. Um, Every great healer has to first heal themselves is what I just heard. That's why I feel like a lot of y'all have become ordained to be great healers. Um, you know, it, it takes a special group of people to be able to do that. So look at this, Ten of Cups now. See that? This is what somebody feels about you is that you bring and provide like this, this, you know, emotional fulfillment, joy, happiness, abundance. Remember you had the abundance and then you also had, um, the door to value abundance. As I say, could be a plethora of things. It could be abundance of love, emotional fulfillment, abundance of finances, abundance of health, abundance of, you know, um, family, you know, love, but this energy here, this is the three of pentacles, um, a three of cups, pardon me. This is somebody reflecting back on good times, like, or even visualizing, imagining, um, some good times, good, you know, maybe you went to a concert with someone or, or a live, um, you know, was seeing, you know, saw a live band at, uh, perhaps a bar, a tavern. I heard, um, some of you all could have been at, uh, like an outside concert in New York. We used to have, um, block parties uh so maybe some of you all are enjoying block parties um during these summer months and you know just enjoying good music um I do feel that there's definitely someone who hears music and it rem reminds them of you uh someone could be listening to jazz um I heard Miles Davis um I definitely feel like this is someone who feels you fulfill them emotionally. You bring happiness. You bring joy. You bring wish fulfillment. They feel this sense of passion, this sense of family with you. Uh, maybe this is someone who... Um, who is waiting for a sign and they received the sign, they got the download, 
this is somebody who is very much addicted to you too. And we do see this attraction. So I feel like not only are they like addicted to you where they could be like, uh, and the, there goes the, the, you see that mama Oya is here. So this is speaking to like rebirths transformation. So this could be someone from your past as we already saw with the six of cups that showed up or the lovers, pardon me. So this could be like a past love. Um, mm, mm, mm. So Ten of Cups, they feel this emotional fulfillment. Um, they definitely want to return. Somebody wants your forgiveness. We see forgiveness and learning twice because you got forgiveness and then you have forgiving and learning. So I was picking up on, you know, past life vibes, past love vibes, someone from the past, period. Um, you know, and remember, you have free will. So I don't need to hear, you know, anybody telling me that they ain't thinking about the past. I'm just reading the cards, beloveds. Um, but, you know, past doesn't mean a, a, a karmic ex. Past could mean like a past life love because we saw the 1111. This could be someone that you are not even thinking about that the spirit, your universe, ancestors, angels are sending in for you. Um, and we got Erica Badu love. So someone returning you got love returning to you so why is the 19 pride for caring connections for giving and learning and we got the eight of swords i mentioned the eight of swords so somebody's definitely like you know up in their own head you know they're their worst critic they're their worst you know that's like you know self-deception ego death is also showing like you know this is that person like you know remember we had stop and go so this is somebody that types up love letters you know secret admirer and then they don't send it this is somebody that is fighting their own demons even you know somebody who's stuck in two minds but i feel this is an ending because they start to see you know like you know they're kind of like they kind of like self-sabotaging you know the eight of swords is here see this this is what they feel about you you know this is somebody that sees you as independent, self-sufficient. Remember, the codependency card is here. So you're no longer codependent. You know, you're able to do things on your own. You've rebuilt your foundation on something solid. You know, you're planting seeds and they're harvesting. You had carnucopia. You had the, the blossoming abundance. You had the door to value. You have abundance here. You have a lot of cards speaking to wish fulfillments. This is from your hard work, your due diligence, your intentions, your manifestations. You know, you can see here, you've been like, you know, uh, you know, uh, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. This is your, you being very single very independent, self-sufficient. And now there goes the four, 11, 11. Your twin flame is very attracted to you. You know, they see you as someone that's like, they see your value now. Maybe they didn't see it in the past. But now with this 19 and the 14, we got forgiven and learning. And then we have this king of pentacles. So for many of you all, this could be the, you know, the father, the mother to your child, somebody you was married to an ex, somebody who also uh, could possibly be in a marriage and they need to um, move on from that connection uh, and let go of their pride and ego because maybe they are starting to uh, decide discover that they have this these feeling you know this this connection that they feel with you um that they have not communicated out of pride and ego you know is now you know their need um to come forward uh because they do want to offer something real they want to offer you something solid uh this is somebody that could see a future see marriage see you know the white picket fence the you know the the, the dog the cat they could see forever with you um i feel this person had to learn something because the ego death is in, you know insinuating some Someone needed to learn that, you know, the sun doesn't rise and set on your ass and you can lie to yourself, but you can never lie uh, to the divine, you know, and someone learned a valuable lesson. Um, as it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your future. So someone realized that they needed to let go of a relationship, a connection sh or a situation ship that was no longer serving them. That was no longer uh, providing that love um, that they feel when they are with you, that care, that tenderness, uh, that connection. Um, and so we have 63 parenting, 17 action and attraction. And this is clarified by five of wands. So look at that. You know, there was a lot of people, you know, that was like up in this someone's head, you know, kind of like perpetrating, 
as, you know, family, friends, you know, coming in, causing confusion, causing one to doubt oneself, even though this was a connection of a higher regard, because when you have a connection with someone where you co-created life, these individuals should not be able to influence a relationship. But someone did allow uh, for someone or several people to come in and cause confusion. Um, this is someone who allowed um, a very strong love uh, dynamic to be um, tarnished by, you know, competition, you know, having other offers. You see all these people up here causing confusion. This is people chattering. This is people, you know, causing um, even a, a distraction. But these are people who are um, shapeshifters. They're not even you know, uh, authentic individuals. They just, they become whoever they need to be in that moment. So they're not solid individuals. They don't stand on anything in particular. They don't even stand on their word. So these are like very, you know, kind of like flighty, chaotic type of energy. And someone realized like, okay, uh, someone has too many options, too many people in their ear. So you, you, you kind of moved away from the confusion um, because you're not in competition with anyone. You know, you realize that you got to heal thyself. You got to find balance because the 17 is giving me like the star energy. So you had to heal yourself and find balance within yourself in order to uh, be able to move forward. And because you started to love yourself, that made you more attractive. And so now there's other uh, love interests that are starting to, um, you know, catch, uh, you know, to, to you're starting to catch their attention. Um, but this shapeshifter here, uh, those are the pe people that were watching you, people that were uh, perturbed by you. Um, and they're very shocked. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if you received some sort of communication uh, from someone also. Um, because remember, I was picking up on like you getting like uh, some sort of an apology that's coming in. So the tower is here. So we have forgiveness, healer of the ages, passion, and the tower. So someone absolutely had, uh, you know, some sort of sexual addiction. Someone was allowing their, uh, their passions, their lusts to kind of rule over them. Uh, and what happened was, um, they was operating out of lust and not love because we have Erica Badu singing love. Uh, so their passion kind of led them uh, towards some sort of ending, like something ended due to someone's passion. Uh, maybe someone realized um, the lack of passion uh, is, you know, what is requiring them to end something. Uh, maybe through healing, uh, they realized uh, that they have more passion, more fire, more desire uh, for another person. And there's going to be a tower moment because maybe someone is going to uh, communicate that that truth and it's going to require forgiveness because that truth is going to hurt someone um, saying that I'm, I don't have this passion or I don't feel these feelings. Uh, and, you know, maybe someone is healing from someone being rejected. As I said, I felt like there was rejection because this this is an energy that, um, you know, the tower is a painful ending, a loss, a sudden ending, an upheaval. Um, and there was a lot of secrets, a lot of deception, a lot of illusions uh, that was happening. And we see with this Ten of Swords, this also is veggie backing off the fact of how painful these experiences were, these karmic lessons were. But it's like it was inevitable and it was definitely destined to happen that way because now there is, you know, the door to personal healing and happiness this new beginning um, things are being restored and balanced and your souls are being rejuvenated and spirit is telling you it's now safe for you to love um, if there was any confusion you know I feel like you know somebody is also uh, suffering from some sort of like regret and remorse maybe somebody in two minds uh, because I see the sword going in both ways so that's that stop and go energy I want to speak to you I don't uh, speak to you out of pride and ego but remember that nine is the highest number of um, change and here we get to 19 so that's the death the ego death that um, that's hidden that someone ultimately has has and they're going to um, come in and express themselves um, I do feel like uh, there is, and we have undercover. So maybe this person, as I said, they kind of watch you. Um, you know, this is somebody that kind of keeps uh, tabs. You know, I feel like this person does watch you. Um, I do feel like there's a sense of confusion. Somebody's having some sort of confusion or maybe they're dreaming. 
you know, they're having these daydreams or they're imagining, rehearsing. This is somebody rehearsing what they're going to say. And you can see here, like they're visualizing, you know, whatever action they're going to take. And so this is the confusion, one sword going forward, one sword going backwards. So that's that stop and go energy Faith was talking about. And with undercover, I do feel like this is somebody that secretly loves you, secretly has these feelings, um, secretly wishes to come towards you, uh, but maybe fear, anxiety, lack of confidence, um, and, you know, the, the fear of rejection ultimately is what's, um, you know, preventing them from coming forward. Uh, but I do, you know, remember we got this, uh, honeymoon here. Um, and I heard a honeymoon phase or stage. And then underneath that is, um, deception and romantic feelings. So someone was deceived. Someone was in the honeymoon phase of a relationship. They thought everything was Gucci. They thought it was going to be amazing. And someone was deceived. That's why heartbreak is here. That's why the Ten of Swords showed up. That's why we have this card of Five of Wands, because there was other people in the relationship. Someone was an undercover, they had an undercover lover, is what I'm hearing also. Um, maybe somebody was dealing with somebody who was an undercover or like, you know, undercover brother, like, you know, um, DL I'm hearing on the DL. So usually this is somebody who, uh, could potentially be, you know, maybe, um, I don't want to say bisexual because I feel this person may have hid their homosexuality. Somebody was dealing with someone or could have had a baby with someone or could have been in a serious partnership with someone and then found out that that person had, um, you know, homosexual tendencies, or maybe just came straight out the closet and was like, look, I'm gay, or maybe they're dressing in drag or something. I don't know. But with this deception, someone was deceived, someone was heartbroken. Um, and it was very soon after the honeymoon phase. Uh, and this is potentially why someone had to uh, take that time out, um, you know, to just like heal, um, to recover, because this really caught them off guard. Um, they had to not only forgive that person, but they had to forgive themselves because I feel like they blame themselves for perhaps not seeing some sort of red flags, uh, for not seeing something. But with these romantic feelings and reconciliation, and it says give relationship here a chance. So this is like somebody now, um, you know, perhaps re evaluating, um, you know, another connection, um, because it says someone from your past is returning into your life. So this is that person, the lovers, uh, remember I was picking up with the 1111 that you had like a twin flame connection. So someone now is looking back like, yo, I did have a beautiful, like, you know, connection with Scorpio it was a lot of chemistry. There was a lot of, you know, compassion. It was a lot of synergy between the two of us. Just everything just kind of was well yoked. Um, you know, they felt the Jones in their bones. They felt the tingling. Um, they just felt this connectedness. And so this is why this person is now coming back because I feel like divine timing was of the essence. You were trapped in a karmic relationship. This person you're attracting could have been trapped in a marriage, a karmic marriage or a karmic relationship. And now they're breaking free from from that. And now they're taking action to come towards you because they're no longer confused or conflicted by these individuals that were uh, causing chaos. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to, all right, do I want to use my cards? All right, I'm going to use these instead. Let me, let me use the uh, Kipper. All right. So look at that. Great fortune, destiny, this is your destiny, this is a wish fulfillment, an answered prayer, something y'all have been asking for, wishing for, praying for, and you can feel it in your bones, you can feel it's coming in, we got family room here, 21, so definitely, um, I feel like not only is there great fortune, meaning like financial gain, b blessings, because remember you have abundance, you have daughter value, you also have the daughter personal healing and happiness, um, you have a lot of blessings coming in, um, and I feel like you're a Attracting it because you all have reached that level of self mastery. Um, you all are divine masculines, divine feminines, and now you are attracting what you are. And so there's a lot of opportunities coming in. Whatever was blocked, whatever was delayed, whatever was being held up by karmics um, is now being, you know, there's momentum, there's movement forward. Um, 
So that is beautiful. Someone is thinking of you. You know, this is someone who thinks highly of you. Um, this is someone who is always, uh, you know, maybe daydreaming. I was picking up someone dreaming of you, literally uh, lucid dreams. Maybe someone is sending you messages um, telepathically and intuitively. You're picking up on them energetically because of their thoughts of you. The 16 is seven. You're very uh, psychic. You're in that energy of being in, you know, a very cerebral space. Um, you know, you have reached that level where you are very sensitive to energy. So you could be picking up on the fact that somebody's thinking of you. This person has it bad for you. They find you to be very attractive. Uh, they're sweet on you because the name of this album is called Brown Sugar. So they're very sweet on you. Um, so let's see what we have coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios from the Kipper deck. All right. Divine Spirit of Love and Light was coming in for my beautiful Scorpios. I'm going to clarify all of these messages. getting a good shuffle yep they're going to send you a message and while they're sending you a message of love because this says seven message so somebody's sending a message to you guys Scorpio and this message may come in the form of a letter a written letter a card maybe a bouquet of flowers will follow um, or the you know the card will be in um, a bouquet of flowers maybe someone will actually phone you call you dial you ring you uh, maybe they'll text you send you an email there's some communication this person may even come face to face they could be traveling towards you um, this person could pay you a visit uh, I do feel like while they're sending you this message they're also communicating to someone else um you know that it's over i heard it's over so somebody is communicating to someone that it's over and it's because they found out somebody had some sort of third party shenanigans going on um they could have been dealing with someone else there was like a triangular uh, situation third party situation um, somebody was cheating, somebody was creeping, and that broke someone's heart. But they know, you know, they got to love themselves. They've learned the, the, you know, the importance of loving themselves by watching you. So we have here toil and labor 38. So spirit, like I said, spirit saw how hard you all were working. And when you finally said, I'm going to step out of the way of the divine and trust and surrender, that's why you're being rewarded with the abundance and the door to value. Somebody that she was putting a lot of time, energy, effort into, blood, sweat, and tears. You were giving your all, fighting for a connection, and somebody was doing the bare minimum. Somebody was flighty in, you know, like, you know, irresponsible. Somebody was unreliable somebody was just very flaky um just kind of like all over the place and i feel like spirit saw how much time and energy you was putting into this situation and it just did not uh reap the fruit or the benefits to what it was that you were looking for per se and so now that's why spirit is like rewarding you there's some sort of blessing coming in for you on the bottom of the deck expectation is here number 28 so this person that you had high expectations of i feel like they fell short um there was something that you thought was going to um happen maybe somebody that you're attracting um you know had some sort of expectations of a relationship they saw marriage in their future um, because they're looking out at this church and I feel like something fell short because uh, we see here that uh, with the 87 synchronicity 21 um, something ended 21 is the world card so that 21 is telling me there was some sort of heartbreak something ended and they had to strategize and plan and prepare a way to find their independence again um, you know they had to uh, you know kind of break free from a codependent relationship they was dealing with somebody who was manipulative conniving cunning um, somebody who could have been using them or duping them for material gain uh, they had expectations that's why they invested so much but what they expected did not result they they was dealing with somebody that ghosted them because uh, we have phantom playing um, and this person felt ghosted I feel like somebody ghosted them for another person um, somebody wasn't present in a relationship even um, I was picking up on like almost like also with this energy with that lizard, the five of wands. I was picking up on like, um, you know, somebody who is a shapeshifter. So it's like they just they will present whatever they know you want to see, you know, so they'll just, pre pre you know, wear a mask to to dupe you into thinking um, that they are something that they actually weren't. Somebody was receiving downloads. Spirit was telling them, look, use your intuition, use your dissumption, your um, 
your discernment, um, trust your inner gumption, your inner wisdom, because something isn't right. Um, somebody could have been using someone again, like I said, for finances. Um, and someone really had to, to, uh, you know, navigate out of a situation that was toxic. So why is these cards here? Why is the 87, the 21 strategy finances and career and the high priestess here? I got my messages here. So that is a marriage. Somebody was in a marriage. Somebody was tied down to someone that was just using them for what they could gain. And this is a phantom. So they was in a marriage, but felt very much single, felt alone. You know, this is someone that they were partnered up with. This is the lovers. See that the 87, someone was in a marriage or some sort of partnership and they felt alone. You know, even if this is a, a career, you know, a boss, it's like, you know, you were dealing with some sort of boss or a relationship where it was like, uh, you know, this person was not, uh, bringing to the table or wasn't doing what they, uh, could have done. So say for instance, uh, you worked at a particular, um, you know, with a particular employer and you were looking to, as I said in the beginning, like, um, you know, be, you know, grow in your role, promote, be promoted, um, and it was like somebody was telling you they couldn't, but in actuality, you found that they, they could have, uh, but there was their choice, you know, not to, they could have even given, you may have found out like people who came in, uh, you know, to the company after you were getting paid more. And this really frustrated you like with this phantom, you was dealing with uh, a fraud, you know, with this card here, I definitely feel, um, there was someone, uh, you know, that was also in the background. There was a third party. Um, that could have really negatively impacted someone's marriage or relationship. And that's why they were broken hearted uh, with this gift. This person does see you as wish fulfillment. Um, they want to offer you something. Maybe, this looks like the, a box, a ring. Um, I also feel spirit is offering you this blessing, this wish fulfillment, this, this reward. Um, this is like a breakthrough, a victory, some sort of, uh, some sort of, um, I feel like a blessing. You know, I definitely feel like it's a blessing and it's I feel because you have learned self-discipline and you're more cerebral. You're trusting your intuition. Um, and I do feel like with this ten of cups here, somebody could be proposing to you. Somebody wants to make the change, you know, because they have done a lot of reflection and introspection um, and, and they feel like you are best fit for them. Somebody is changing, um, you know their zip code, like somebody wants to move closer, you see all the luggage, you know, so somebody could be traveling because they feel like you are perhaps, you know, like the one that got away, you're the one that they want to wife, marry, you're the one that they love, because this caring connection, this is somebody that realizes like how much they care for you, and they, they this, I feel there's no connection, there's no communication, it's like non-existent, because the name of this song is called Phantom, why is Ego Death, or 19 Pride, 14 Caring Connections, Forgiving and Learning, and the King of Pentacles, I do feel like that's somebody who was married, yep, this person's coming after you, because they see you to be very attractive, the Divine Feminine, the Yang to their Yin, Yin to their Yang, they see you as the Divine Masculine, this is somebody who had to break free, this person is seeking your forgiveness, forgiveness because I feel like they didn't realize that you was a gem you know they didn't realize that you are um you know this this beautiful um divinely uh unique individual like you are beautiful this person cares loves you they've learned tremendously you know because I do feel this person watches you you know they they love what they see they are attracted to you mind body and soul and they see you as you know someone very you know attractive very domestic, you know, you're just very well-rounded, like you, you are very gifted, very informed, very beautiful, very powerful, and they want to, you know, express something to you, um, share with you how they feel, um, and I feel like they may feel more comfortable um, writing a letter, texting a letter, opposed to actually communicating and expressing this, uh, but I do feel like um, they're going to, 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 uh, fight their fears. You know, I feel like they are fighting through their fears because I do feel like whoever they have around them, uh, whatever these naysayers, uh, whoever these people are, they allow them to, um, affect, you know, whatever decisions, you know, that they make, whatever decisions, choices. It's like they allow these people to have too much power, uh, because it's, it's very clear as day that they do see you as their wish fulfillment. 
you know, they do find themselves to be very attracted to you. And this person is very, um, you know, obsessively watches you, thinks of you, uh, someone that could see you as the mother, the father to their child. Uh, we have Kenny Burke, and this is called Rising to the Top. So they definitely see you in your light. They see you as very... Um, very powerful, very much a star in their eyes, someone who has grown, someone who gets a lot of attention because of your attraction. Um, this is someone that can see you as the mother or father to their child, like I said. Somebody that they can plant seeds, roots, grow old with, you know, build a legacy. Um, this is definitely somebody that wants to get something off their chest. We got unexpected income, so some of y'all are going to be receiving some good news uh, about some, you know, unexpected money. Uh, something that you have been manifesting, something that you have really been working hard. I feel like you all have like ascended. So you are master manifestors now. And so you're manifesting everything that you desire. That's why you're seen as very attractive. You know, you're going to attract what you are. You're very magnetic. So whatever it is you want, you're attracting it to you. All right. So and that's what the divine feminine, divine masculine does. Your master manifestors. Someone definitely sees your worth and value, occupation, somebody you met from your job. This person has been growing, maturing, you know, somebody has learned not to listen to others, but to listen to their intuition. Somebody has been growing spiritually and they are at a distance. This person had to learn and they did go through some endings. Remember I was saying like, you know, the world card uh, is very indicative of like somebody that could be at a distance. And then you see here with this 21 that also is showing like the globe, which shows that there is, um, in fact, distance um, or even just, you know, differences culturally, um, ethnically. Um, but this person has been uh, wisening up. You know, uh, remember we had spiritual growth or spirituality, excuse me, seven, seven and seven, seven reduces to 14, which is five. That's what your person been doing. They've been mastering themselves. You know, all of these books are very indicative of like learning studentship. So they've been teach learning under perhaps, you know, an elder, a master teacher, someone in their family that's informed, that's wise. Uh, this also speaks to how they see you. What's hidden is that you all are becoming very spiritually strong very in tune, very tapped in. And because you have tapped in, it's like now you're moving forward towards your dreams. You're rising to the top of your class. If you are in school, you're at the top of your game. Um, I also feel like that you're free. Um, you're just in a space where there's, there's expansion, there's growth. Why is 96 forgiving? Yep. So we have occupation, forgiveness, someone you met at your job, because this is 34 again, seven, somebody wants to come towards you and ask for your forgiveness, somebody that you had like a painful ending, you know, this was like a sudden upheaval. So some things could have been said, discovered, you know, maybe you knew something was going on, somebody denied it. And it was just like the way that they responded to you was very telling. And you just, you know, preoccupied yourself with your work. You started to throw yourself into your work, focused on honing your skills, gifts and talents. It's like you channeled that energy from this loss, this pain, this ending, because it was obvious there was a lot of passion between you and someone. There was a lot of fire, desire, you know. But it's like, you know, you just you kept it moving, kept it pushing. As I said, somebody you could have met at your job or something pertaining work, you know, had you very busy. Maybe you were working towards a goal, but somebody does desire your forgiveness. And I feel like, you know, the spirit is telling you to operate from your higher self, your ascended self, because you are a healer. So you've helped someone to heal. You've activated or triggered someone to do their work because they have been healing. Remember, we saw the healing card earlier. And so we got this great fortune. So I feel spirit is saying that this is like you are being um, bliss. This is de destined, someone that's destined to be in your life. I feel like you kept rising to the top. You kept being resilient. You kept persevering. We saw that for persevering. So it's like you kept it pushing forward. You kept moving forward. You didn't let anything or anyone like bring you down to their level or stunt your growth or make you feel less than. I feel like you kept it pushing because with healer of the ages, you had to heal yourself in order to become a healer. And I feel like because you've healed yourself, the way in which you've healed yourself, the compassion in which you've shown people has, you know, kind of like showed the divine that you are absolutely not even showed the divine is, is like now in, you know, um, 
which is now having the divine show you that you all are healers. You know, you're starting to awaken to who you are and what your purpose is and what your passion may have always been. You may have always had a passion for helping heal others because you could have always been like empaths. Um, you could have always had a very compassionate, loving heart, always helping people when you can, um, giving of yourself. And spirit is saying, yeah, that's because you are uh, healers. Um, you're tapping into your destined, um, you know, whatever it is you're destined to do, uh, whatever love that's destined for you, whatever abundance, wish fulfillment is like spirit is pouring this abundance onto you. And we have getting in the way by Joe Scott. So it's like, yeah, there were people that were trying to get in the way of your blessings. Um, somebody could potentially be still trying to get in your way of these blessings because the envy is here. So somebody's trying to get in the way of you receiving this blessing, this gift, and you have to use your intuition. Remember that intuition card did show up under surrender. I believe if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it did under compassion. So it was like, be mindful of who you, it's like, you could be compassionate and loving from a distance, surrender to the divine, uh, show compassion. Uh, but also don't be, um, bamboozled or duped because you get some envious, jealous, envy, um, jealous and envious and en energy around you. And they're trying to get in the way of something, uh, according to Jill Scott. And what she says is, you're getting in the way of what I'm feeling. So somebody's trying to get in the way of perhaps this love connection because we have new beginning. We have the angel of balance. It is safe for you to love. And then we have this nine of swords. So somebody could be trying to get in the way. They're speaking from both sides of their mouth, trying to confuse something. All of these clouds that he's surrounded by is somebody that is really like perhaps somebody who's in a fog and a funk themselves, can't see things clearly. But then there's this, you know, this energy here. So you could be like that beacon of light to somebody. You know, I do feel like somebody was really like codependent on your energy, you know, at one sp you know, point in time. And they could still be that. And when they see you moving in a different direction, this could cause them to be very, um, you know, very um, quick to 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 um, respond without, you know, finding the right course of action. It's like they're going to be there. They're not going to calculate, you know, the risk because I do feel like somebody doesn't know which way, you know, we got the stop and go, you know, energy, that song that was playing earlier, but with the swords facing in two directions, I just feel like that's somebody like they, they talking out of both sides of their mouth. They double talking, you know what I'm saying? They're just talking around in circles. And it's because you are opening yourself up to love. You're perhaps coming into a new connection, you know, cause you got this new beginning here. And then you also have the angel of balance. So this is obviously like that yin yang type of connection. You got great fortune here. So as I said, the abundance could literally mean anything, infinite possibilities, infinite possibilities in love, finances, health, wellness, happiness, your career choices, like anything is possible here. So why is um, new beginnings, the 87, uh, I mean, 48 angel of balance. It is safe for you to love and the nine of swords here. I'm not taking all of these. I'm just going to take the one that actually flew on. And this is this card right here. It flew on the um, cards that we are trying to um, clarify. And look at that. So there's communication coming in. So the card that flew out is main mail. So your main mail is coming in. This is the one for you. I feel this is somebody coming in very solid. This is someone that wants that new beginning because remember, you have this one here and one here. One and one equals 11. So, you know, that is telling me like this is your twin flame. This is somebody that you could have manifested um, or this is someone new coming in um, that will feel very familiar. Um, I feel spirit is definitely letting you know that it's the divine timing. Now is the time and it's because the divine is saying it's okay for you to love because they're uh, aligning you with your person, um, especially with the angel of balance. So they're bringing you into alignment with your person. We have Mary J. Blige singing time. So now is the time. Divine timing is of essence. Um, and this main male is going to enter your life and they're going to bring in, you know, a sense of balance. They're going to bring in a sense of, you know, just solidarity. They're going to be solid. They're going to be, you know, whole. They're going to give to you equally and you're going to give to them equally. Um, so this is beautiful. So spirit is, um, dang, do I want to do? 
all right, I'm going to just end it there because I could keep going and going. So I'm going to end it there. So it does look like you all have like a twin flame coming in. Um, we have Mary J. Blige singing time. So I feel like now is the divine timing. Now is the perfect time. Um, I feel like you all have been waiting uh, for uh, a lot of these blessings and these opportunities. And it's like now spirit is saying like, yo, this door to personal healing and happiness is here. Uh, be mindful um, because everybody's not going to be happy for you. You're going to have a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy. Uh, you may even have people that's like, you know, just trying to lie to kick it uh, just to be around you. Uh, so be mindful to cut your losses, to cut yourselves free. Um but this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. Uh, I definitely thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message has resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. A lot of you are saying you haven't received notifications for months, and that's crazy to me. So please, right now, at this moment, hit the disable button, hit the re-enable button so that you can receive the alerts, the notifications of when I upload. Um, also, uh a reminder, my Etsy shop is open. I want to give love and light to everyone who has patronized, showed love. I rotate that love right back to you infinitely. Um, and I just want to say thank you all for just showing love to the channel, for your comments. Just thank you so much just for being y'all. Like, I just, I'm so appreciative um, just for the growth of the channel. We're approaching 10,000 subs, uh, and I'm very humbled by that. Um I started off with probably like 87 and here I am, you know, approaching 10,000. So I'm really thankful. I'm humbled beyond measure, um, you know, to have such amazing Scorpios that are on the channel. And I just want y'all to know how much I appreciate y'all uh, dearly, 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 dearly. Um, as I said in the former reading, once I hit that 10,000 mark, I'm going to gift um, two of you all with a free reading. Uh, and I'm going to choose, it's going to be a sweepstakes. I'm not just, you know, doing readings for anybody. Like I'm not doing that. I already said I don't offer readings and that's for, re you know, personal readings and that's for a reason. But for the sake of, you know, celebrating um, the growth of the channel, uh, I will um, do two free readings uh, for two lucky winners. Um, and I will also give away some items uh, from my shop. Um, so that's going to be my way of just showing love uh, to each and every one of you all. Um, and hopefully some of y'all will be, you know, some of y'all will be the winners. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time, I send a big old fat ashe. Have a blissed rest of your Sunday fun day. Peace, love, and light.